considering how you guys look for unfortunate tonight's game, how fortunate you got to feel to have two points in a perfect score. I think you answer your own question sometimes, so I'll use the word we're fortunate. Uh, ben said he was disappointed at Thursday for giving up that late goal. And maybe not surprised, but what do you think of how he was able to? Well, I think Marty made the comment uh, last game that it was unusual to see Ben give up a goal like that. And the answer is yes, it is unusual to see that. And that's the mark of a good goaltender that you can sit here and say, oh, wow, he doesn't give up very many bad goals. Um, and so then he gets to start tonight, and clearly was the best player on the ice. So we don't win without him. And, uh, you know, it's a testament to, uh, to Ben. What was the issue, especially early on in the first period, where there was a lot of turnovers on these teams? What was oh, like, there was, <laughs> again, you're answering your own question, so it's, uh, you're, you might as well just ask the question and then come up and answer it, and then sit down and ask it again. I'll be kidding about the best. It was everything to start from all three zones. We turned the puck over in all three zones. We were at the offensive zone. We were one and done. They all hit us, worked us, skated us, competed us, and I don't know what, coached us, everything. So we were, uh, we were definitely on our, on our heels, and I feel we were fortunate um, to come back and, and uh, or to only be down one nothing. I mean, we had full possession of the puck with seven seconds left in the period, and three seconds later, it turns into an absolute great day for them. Uh, so Ben gives us a chance to come back in that game, and. And we did, and, and then that's where uh, special teams have been a little bit maligned. But the PK is was great, and led by Ben, and uh, you get the power play at the end of the game where you tie the game and you can win it on that, and they did it. And so uh, you got to give special teams credit. Coop Nemesnikov really seems to be coming into his own this year. Mm -hmm. What would you attribute his improvement to? Well, he's hanging in there, and uh, it's. First of all, he's a gamer, so he's just trying to get better. He's been fighting, fighting, fighting to find a spot in the lineup, and uh, he's getting his chance this year, and I'm sure he's making the best of it. I thought uh, you know, he was one of our bright spots up front tonight, and the only time he got, he earned, and he kept getting it. And so, um, you know, he's scores obviously a huge goal for us to uh, to tie the game up, and um, I don't know, just give the kids like that credit. Uh, he's just, he's never quit. He's kept coming and coming. And, uh, he's deserved a uh, great time again now. Switch your lines quite a bit. You usually don't break up the triplets even better if those are circumstances. What was your Philly doing, I guess, behind the Or you watched the first, right? Yeah. So I didn't want that to happen in the second and the third. So that's why you know, we broke things up and you know, for a night it paid off. A lot of shuffling in the back end. How did Cooper look out there tonight? Uh, I think he, uh, in the end, we only gave up one goal. He was a big part of that. I thought, uh, you know, in the beginning we were, it's hard to really judge because we are in our heels for the whole first period, but he had a really good jump in his legs. He was jumping up in the play, which uh, really kind of helped our attack in, in the limited times we were attacking. Uh, but he was solid back there. And, uh, so yeah, it's no worries about him in the lineup. Uh, Joe barely played in the third period. And Hurt or is it just that? Oh, it's it's just, just we're um, there's a few guys that didn't do a lot of shifts in the third period. Um, I was just happy to put the guys out. We thought that this moment was going to help us win the game, and they did. And that's that. John, it's early in the season, but uh, is there a little bit of a concern about maybe taking some teams for granted, uh, at least at the start? <coughs> it's tough I, to say I, that. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't know. It's um, I can't sit here and say uh, we've ever taken a team for granted. Um, we, we've had a, you know, a long year last year, short summer, but the guys came back in, in pretty good shape, and actually really good shape and good health, and uh, we're just, it's a new year. We, it's we're trying to find our chemistry and um, trying to get back to some of the things we've done in the past. and. Um, I think we jumped out of the gate, we were 3-0, and we were playing some pretty good hockey. I think mean, the last time we played Buffalo, we were really good. Yeah. And so I know that we haven't 
in a week and a half, you know, gone from a good team to a poor team. It's, uh, I don't think we sat here and took anybody lightly, um, but we do know that we're getting everybody's best shot, and uh, we have to we have to come prepared and come drop the puck every single night. And I don't think that is it's going to take the teams lightly. There's we have too many guys in the room that have too much respect for the league, so we've never been in that position in the past. So I don't know why we'd ever be in that position now. Um, but oh, let's just give Buffalo credit. Yeah. I mean, Dan's doing a great job with them. They're competing hard. They're playing physical. Uh, they're uh, they're playing hard. So you know, Buffalo's a good team, and uh, it's it's just hard to win in this league. And uh, you know, the guys found a way tonight, and ultimately. It, sit back and look at the tape and how the game went but in the end we did get two points and so that's the ultimate goal and now um, we got to turn the page and move on to our national. Struggles on the PK were well documented. Mm -hmm. How nice was it to get you shut up? I thought. Well it, you look at the special teams wars and um, talked about this before the Bruin game we gave up three but we happened to score two on the PK and got a shorty so no one evened out. You know, the games we lost, we lost special team war. And tonight we won, we won a special team war. So it's pretty easy to do the math. You want to come off the top of that, gives you a better chance to win the game. Thank you. Yeah.